this 11th episode in a little series pattern of the month and um, I've been uh, tying different styles of flies with different uh, materials and different techniques and I hope you enjoyed it so far. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit first on clear water flies and what to think about and also the special things to think about when you tie a clear water fly. I'm going to tie the silver and silver, which is one of my, uh, my, it's an old fly of mine. It's been with me maybe 20 years, but it's one of those flies that are very, very good on the super clear days on the clear river. But there is a few things to think about when you fish on a clear river on a, on a bright day. And I think that most of the time we fish too big flies and uh, we tend to fish them too slow. And this is particularly important when you fish on the clear river on a clear day because it's very easy to spook the fish. Not only by behaving wrongly on the river, but to fish a too big fly and maybe even fishing it too slow into the fish window, they get spooked. So when I tie my clear water flies, I try First of all, I try to pick up the color of the water. If I fish a green tinted river, I try to pick up with a little bit of green. If I fish a river that's a little blue in color, when it's clear, I fish a little bit of blue in the fly. But on the super clear river, I try to make the fly almost disappear. Try to make it, uh, tie it with very, very uh, light grayish tones of materials and also extremely translucent. So we're going to do the silver and silver today and I'm going to tie uh, a quite small fly. I'm going to do it on, um, here we go, on a TTT or a BTT. You can, uh, you can use both. And in our packs that we send out to you, you guys subscribing, we have both in there. Uh, I would say that uh, I fish most of my flies today on the systems where I have three wallets. One with the TTTs, and one with the BTTs and one with the loose bodies. And this way I, I, I get a very good flexibility when to choose what fly on and to change it when the conditions change, but also when the speed of the river and the pace of the surface changes. Um, the big difference is the weight. And uh, the whole idea behind the TTT and the BTT is to have a fly that will open up and become very mobile, but also extremely translucent. Um, when it comes to fishing on the clear day, it's um, on the extremely clear water, it's very often on quite low water, meaning that we need to have the fly quite high up. I use on the clear day on the low water more BTTs, the brass turbo tubes, than the TTTs, but still, you come into the fast part of the top of the pool, the TTT is way better than the, DT, than the BTT. So uh, you have to be flexible. And the way I do it is, um, is to have the three wallets and I just pick what's good for the conditions. Okay, I'm gonna tie this uh, today on the Glow Extra Small. And of course I have a lighter in the color of the fly, always. And uh, I start by just melting a little bit of edge. And uh, I can see, I need my tools. And I can talk a little bit about our toolkit that is right now out, uh, or right now ready to be out shortly. It's a leather, a uh, little leather pack where we can carry the whole assortment of uh, Fitz tools. Really handy and quite luxury thing, I would say. I need a scissor and I need a brush. 
and I need a dubbing needle and uh, my tube cutter later on and uh, let's do the hacker plier too uh, when I talk about this you can see maybe that I have also a new things on the table it's a table cover uh, it's in thick very good quality leather we made two of those this one that's natural and I have the other one here it's a black one if you prefer to have the black uh, color underneath when you tie both these will be out in about a month time and also I have to show you this too when we talk about this because we've done a few leather things we're also coming with two um, covers for our wallet one for the medium one for the small one where you uh, well we fit in two wallets in each of those and I also thought think that these turned out to be really really nice it's a small series of leather products that will be with you shortly okay here we go now I have my tools what I do is I start with the extra small and I cut a little edge like this when I've done this I just uh, I decided to tie a small fly this time I've been tying so many big flies uh, but I do on the small TTT or the BTT and I do a silver one and the reason I use the glow is that I like to have this little shiny part in the front there uh, when you tie on on the BTTs they're a bit slippery so you have to think about to to make everything the thread stay on there and I'll, I'll show you shortly how I do this today I'm going to tie with what we call a stealth thread and this this is actually a mono thread and um, there are good things and bad things with mono the good thing with our thread is it's, it's extremely flexible you can see this which means that you can pull out and the, the thread will really grab the material in a good way um, it's the thinnest thread we have if you don't want to tie with this you should uh, tie this fly with a white 12 bow but uh, for those of you who haven't tried tying with this mono thread I think you should do it and I make sure that I put on a few turns of thread in front of the BTT first and then to make it stay I put on a little bit of glue just a little drop of glue right on to the BTT and then I move up the thread and the glue will make it stay there now when I'm gonna tie this I have to think about all the time that I'm not gonna use too much material uh, so when I go on first um, I'm gonna tie a fairly small fly but I'm still gonna do uh, the uh, angel hair HD the heavier angel hair and uh, I take the diamond uh, no sorry the sea light silver color I use two strands two double will be four which would be absolutely enough here tie it in with one or two turns and double it back complain all the time about how hard it is to see for me on this side here but here we go and what I do I don't need to taper when I have so few strands I can just cut them in different length like this see what we have them so they are also spread over and uh, then I'm gonna do um, a wing and the wing even though it's gonna be very very few strands I divide it in two bunches of hair uh, and as always when I do two the lower one the first one should be bigger normally like 60 40 or 70 30 percent 
So I take this and I brush it through. My fingers just untangle this, taking away the soft part, the under wool. And then I look at it and it's too even. And also too much. I need to take away some. This should be few strands and they should be tapered even though it's the first one I make sure this is tapered and even if this is now it's going to be very very short I make sure that it's down on the sides on the BTT or the TTT to open up give this broad profile of the fly tie it in Cut it off and cut off close. And those of you trying our scissors, thanks for all the fantastic feedback. It's good to know I'm not the only one thinking this is the best scissor. Uh, okay, so here we go. What I'm gonna do now, I take a little bit of angel hair and here I go on to the diamond pearl. Since this is a little thinner, I can take a few more strands, but still, few strands three four five of this very thin material it means that it will be quite a little bit of sparkle and double back here i use the technique by uh, just pulling and tapering looking at this and uh, since I cannot uh, twist it, I have to look over to the other side to see that I don't have too much material down on the sides. Okay, and then we're going to do uh, like the top part of this wing. And um, I prefer to have this hair where there are different colors in each bunch of hair. Uh, there are some light strands and some darker strands and they mix together and they will uh, do a really nice gray, natural gray color. Also this wing you can see it's not tapered. Here it's extremely important. This should be the best hair and it should have the thinnest point uh, to make this wing swim. Put it in, look at it so it's long enough to get in really nice uh, tapered profile and I tie it in and I tie it in on top of the of the tube, not in front, spread it out. The reason here to use half the diameter about the, of the tube is to get this fly to be very, very translucent. So this is the whole wing. This is what's gonna fish. And I'm gonna uh, create a nice, um, little drop form out of it. First I check so I have few strands there and then I can pull this a little bit before I cut it away. Here we go. Jungle cock. Always jungle cock. I love my jungle cock. Um, be sure to make, uh, to use uh, feathers with the situs or to use substitutes. Our own substitute is getting closer. I will let you know in these films when it's ready. And I curve it over my thumbnail to make it fall of the wing. And I always start tying in the one on my side. And sometimes when you tie on the VTTs and the TTTs, it can be a bit tricky to get the jungle cock to be sitting in the right 
position and the reason is that it's so wide immediately that they they can twist a little bit this was okay i think see i thought i had another feather here here we go and i do the same here pull it over my fingernail form it to follow the wing you can say the, the substitute that we will soon show you will be pre-curved uh, okay and i look from above make sure these are the same length and i tie it in i have to look and see so it looks the way i want it to and then i pull out this little piece before i cut it off maybe it's harder for you to see when for me to tie such a small fly but um, you know it, it, now we've been doing so many films it looks like we always fish this big flies and of course not the, me, the medium and small flies is very often more effective than uh, than the really big fly okay so now I'm gonna put the hackle on here and I'm gonna do two hackles and um, yeah actually I have the pack here the pack the, the bag the pack uh, the feathers coming with the uh, with the monthly pack to our su subscribers contains two different feathers one that has got a plain gray and one that's got uh, um, uh, uh, little bars to the feathers uh, and I actually I, I tie a lot with feathers like this that are natural and the one you uh, prefer uh, it's got to match the fly and sometimes the silver and silver should be a dark gray one and sometimes you want it light gray uh, I most of the time like them to be light gray so I'm gonna do this it's like ghost gray I call it it's uh, uh, and I'm gonna take a feather Oop that is fairly small and i'm only going to use two turns just to get a little bit of hackle in front here very soft and extremely translucent okay so i create pull back the strands and use support and uh, create that little triangle this is what I tie in and I just tie in the tip pull the thread to use the flexibility and the tension in the thread to pull out to grab the material I can use my little plier here uh, and I have to be careful first by just doubling and uh, pulling back the strands on this part of the feather I'm tying in and doubling back doing two turns and the good thing with my plier is that it's so heavy that you can let go and the tension of the feather is still there and then I just tie it in use a few turns And cut off. Okay, have a look. This is good. Maybe to look at these fibers and untangle a bit with the needle here. And um, does it look good? Yeah, I think it looks good. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put on one more hackle and and uh, as you've seen in a few of the last uh, films I've done, I've been tying with teal. When it comes to teal feathers, they are uh, like many other oh, natural feathers. They are so different. There are the ones that have the big stripes like this. And then they are the ones that are almost super light gray, almost white. And... Um, 
you just it's the same with the hair you just pick one feather have one here that you think is uh, in the right coloration e either you want the light silver and silver or you want the darker one I do one with quite marked uh, bars like this and I do it the same way I did before I've been using teal on a few flies now I just create this little triangle strip one side first and create this little triangle and this is what I tie in and uh, pulling hard in the thread using my plier or without the plier but it's easier for you to see when I use the plier and here I don't need to uh, double this because I've stripped one side so they will come out natural oops from the center of the feather and I do two or three turns here we go and I just tie it in where I think it looks good uh, take the plier away and just secure it with a few turns and make sure when you secure that you don't move the thread too far in front because uh, you really want uh, the small cone to cover up everything does it look good I think it looks good it's gonna be a uh, uh, about three centimeter little sunshine fly and what I do I take a micro turbo and for the extremely light fly here I use uh, a brass micro and I do it in silver put it on and uh, oops that was a little too long and I take a little bit of glue put a little glue away from the hackle as before I use the thread by picking up the glue and then rest of the glue I just press down the cone close take away the thread and the easiest way to press it really hard down is to take the fly out of the vise and pull it down. Cut off maybe two mil. Need very little plastic to hold this super light little cone. And then I again use Newton's thoughts when I hold it like this and let this come down and secure a little hole for my leader with a little if, and let it dry up before I I touch it silver and silver on uh, a micro or sorry on a small uh, TTT or BTT and you can see hopefully you can see how extremely translucent this wing is how few strands and how wide it is tied and um, I actually think that this is uh, this is a super fly when you want to, to fish something that will disappear in the clear water surprise the fish and um, I've caught many fish on those, those this kind of flies and this pattern and I hope you like this so how to fish this now well you can fish this on a loose body and you can take any of the colors of the of the fits medium I'll do a green or a blue let's say I I want to fish this on a blue river I can have a blue one I can do a white one or uh, I'll show you this or I can do the silver or the clear of course 
I would say I prefer on the silver and silver to stick to the silver one. I do them white one centimeter here and uh, this is how I fish them. I secure the hook in the plastic and let the fly slide down against uh, the plastic and it will be a really really nice fly and for those uh, flies that I fish on the super clear river it's good to have the maximum uh, be maximum translucent so that's why I most of the time fish them without uh, a, a dressed body but I will tie your dress body anyway, the way I do for this little simple fly. And I uh, hope you uh, do like me. Have a spare wallet, have both. Let the conditions decide what you want to fish. Okay, so doing the body, I can choose one of these fits ones and I use the medium. Uh, today I'm going to use uh, the silver one and I'm going to do a body on for a fairly big fly uh, two centimeter length and um, as I've done on most of my loose bodies I will uh, connect it with an extra small doing the glow again uh, because I'm putting a cone on there and the, the reason for that is that the cone will fit into the BTT or the TTT and it will create a really, really durable fly. Uh, the plastic that will going against the um, metal uh, will be a little bit damaged. It's better to have the cone shape and the metal meet the metal. Okay, so I have those two and what I'm gonna do is just a very, very simple Oh, this is needs a bit of bit of oil there, grease, and I put some thread on over where I cut the uh, tubing, so I can connect these two without having any form of uh, glue, uh, keeping it flexible, which is one of the big advantages with our tubing system. Uh, I'll start with the Mirage and I go back, leave 46 mil, turn it to the front and tie it in underneath. Like that. And then I will use braid and I'm going to use two colors. A silver, uh, sea like silver and a diamond pearl. And I can decide uh, which one I want to do what and uh, normally I do the the silver uh, on the body and the pearl to uh, to the ribbing but how should we do it? Let's uh, uh, do it the opposite way here. Okay, let's do, and I always start with tying in the ribbing because that's the second one I will, uh, I will put on. You can, of course, do this any way we want. Then I'll, uh, I'll wind on some of the braid and here I can do the silver or the pearl. I do the pearl on this one. It's good to have the wallet full with different things. And I just secure it underneath and take it away. Okay, so then it's time to do some dubbing. And uh, what I want to have is a dubbing that goes in the same coloration as the fly. And, you know, maybe we should I'm, I've got some here. Should I? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take it a little bit here. I got so much. Here we go. Ecological dubbing from Fredin Flies. Maybe this is something we should start selling. 
I don't know. You think we can use it? Let's try it. I don't think it's possible without wax. This is like pig's wool. Better to use glitz maybe. It's easier to dub for sure. Make sure to take quite a bit. Maybe I put some of the beard on here too. Be a special fly. A bearded, loose, silver and silver body. As I said, it's like pig's wool. Okay. A little more. And make sure that I go all the way down onto the extra small tubing. Because here I don't need space to put a wing on top. Because this is going to be a loose body, so I'll leave it like this. Maybe we should put this up on an auction. Biggest females will take that. Okay, <laughs> body hackle. Uh, where are we with my body hackles? Here, I uh, love the the silver badger, and um, I'm just gonna take one that is fairly short in fiber. Uh, I was a little too short, maybe, and. Uh, uh, see the best ones are gone already here uh, that's always the case here we go and uh, yeah, many fire many many feathers here and I use a little part uh, in the front where I have the black on the feather just to get a little bit of, of a darker front part tie it in And when I want a hackle on, I never go back at the same uh, directly. I always start with one turn in the front before I pull this down into the dubbing and uh, do four or five turns before I pick it up with my ribbing. Same braid, just spin it. And since this is fairly small, I spin it fairly hard and pull it down hard into the dubbing. Three or four turns and secure it underneath. Cut away and cut away. Brush it out. The meanest brush there is. Can even brush my pig's wool beard with it. Cut away a few of the longest ones like that. Uh, now, uh, in our packs this month, we uh, have sent you rubber turbos and this is something that we've had some time it's not on a page you can't really buy it but we sent them with you to try out and to work with those of you who are subscribing or buying the packs this is something that is uh, actually very good for those areas where you're not allowed to have the weighted cone so uh, hopefully we will have these also on the market fairly soon uh, I'm gonna put uh, or uh, on our, our uh, on our uh, in our web shop fairly soon. I'll use the silver and I use the brass silver this time too. A little bit of glue, put it in front. Use the thread, pick up the glue one or two or three turns. Press down and if you want to spread the glue, you twist it and twist it down, press it down and cut off the thread. Take it out of the vise. Two mil as before. 
silver and silver gray lighter and uh, just melt it down and here we go it's really sticky body on this <laughs> anyway this little body goes with a little uh, let's say this size of silver and silver and this will be uh, uh, where you can change from the bare tube to the dressed body and you can have bodies that go in a little bit of green or a little bit of blue to have this pattern uh, mix different uh, water colors it's a clear water fly but it's extremely seldom that you find a really gin clear salmon river there are a few but not that many this is the fly tied and i'm gonna end this little tying session by showing you this and um well a clear water fly and i hope you like the tying maybe you laughed a bit and uh, grow your beard Make it gray. You get the perfect stuff for this fly. And uh, thank you very much for watching this. And um, those of you who are subscribing will uh, soon have your packs. Or already have your packs in your in your mail. Uh, and um, we're getting closer. We're in the middle of the winter. We're getting closer to spring. And next uh, little tying session we will do you a spring fly for sure a much bigger fly now we can sit here in the snowy winter landscape and dream about the low crystal clear rivers but next fishing coming up will be in conditions where the spring fly is more suitable so again thank you and thank you for all the good feedback and support we get Thank you for watching.